Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Um, today I'm actually going to be doing my last haul before Flat Friday. Oh yes. Um, I've reached capacity in my bathroom, in my drawers here. Um, where else? Various bins strewn about the house in disarray. I don't have any more room for products. So it's not that I don't want to shop. I always want to shop. But I am cutting myself off until Black Friday. I have to use up some stuff to make room for stuff and um, kind of give myself an idea of what things I would like to purchase for Black Friday this year. What companies that I've tried in the past that I'd like to order from again this year year and also leave room for sampling for some new stuff in Black Friday um, shopping time. So um, with that being said, let's get started. So Walgreens had one of their infamous wonderful buy one get one sales. Um, they had all Shea Moisture products $7.99 and then um, buy one get one 50% off which is an awesome deal. So I got two of my beloved uh, purification masks got two of those um also in my last video with my cousin who we're trying to get her hair healthy and um back on track she is also natural she loves the shea moisture products as well her hair adores them so i got her two of the moisture retention shampoos as well as two of the mash and conditioners and um since i'm also a fan of that I got myself, um, the other one fell, but I got um, two of the moisture retention shampoos. I have to almost force myself to use other cleansers because my hair loves this shampoo. It's one of the best shampoos I've ever tried. Um, once I, one day over the rainbow, whenever I finish using a majority of my products, this is going to be, I'm going to try to get my cleansers down to about three or four different options, but this has definitely made it into one of those options. I love this shampoo. It's very cleansing. It's detangling um, to a certain extent. The consistency is wonderful for a shampoo. Very slippery. Really gets to your roots. So I really, really like that shampoo. I think I have a review on it. Um, so I got two of those. Also, um, got a Shea Moisture product that I actually haven't tried, which is very rare. The Yucca and Baobab Thickening Growth Milk. I've never tried anything from the green line of the Shea Moisture products, the Thickening and Growth line, because um, I'm pretty good in the uh, thick hair area, I think. But um, I've been getting a really, really good um, idea of other people's experiences with this. They said it's really great as a leave-in and as a moisturizer. Tons of moisture. I'm always on the hunt for something that's going to moisturize my hair. So I got two of these. Really excited to see how they perform this summer since I think it's going to be super hot this year. Um, so that's everything for Walgreens hair related. Um, next is She Sent It. Curly Girl Jess told me about one of their... Um, she Sent It has sales all the time for every big holiday they have a sale so a curly girl Jess hey girl she told me about their Mother's Day sale and there were a couple products that I had been kinda like looking at a little bit ever since last Black Friday so I decided to give them a go this um go round to see if I'd like to reorder them come this Black Friday and um it also happens that another product that I ordered from them previously that I was kinda like lukewarm about I've actually fallen in love with and I'm gonna be doing a review on it this uh, year or this year oh my gosh this week so I'm gonna be reordering um quite a few things when she sent it so excited to see how these things work out as well so I got two of the um coconut sorbets heard really great stuff about this um coconut sorbet I keep pronouncing coconut funny um and it has argan oil and moisturizing aloe and it's claiming to be a shine enhancing hairdress and pre-poo treatment um you guys know i don't pre-poo my hair um i intend to use this kind of like as a pomade or a twisting agent or as a leave-in conditioner so i have a few plans for this one it has a great smell <sighs> it reminds me of something that i have it's a very very faint coconut it's not really artificial smelling and like a light, light hint of a floral. Um, I don't know if you can tell in this video, but it's very, very whipped. Um, it's not falling out. But I will mention that um, when I first got this product, I had it in the house and it was super hot in here. And I noticed it started to melt. So I popped it in the refrigerator and um, it retained that whipped consistency, that kind of souffle airy texture. I'll definitely show um, the consistency a little bit greater depth when I review it but um definitely you know try to get it in your cabinets kind of away from like heat because it will melt easily because it's a very very soft airy type of product so really excited to try that 
I also picked up their Macadamia Fixing Gel. I have this, but it was in a completely different packaging, and it's very small. I had it in the um, 4 ounce, and I'm surprised that I even have any more of that product left, because 4 ounces, um, you know, I used it really sparingly, so that's why I have a little bit left, but I tend to try to get things that are a little bit bigger packaging, so that's why I decided to go with this. It's 9 ounces now, and the packaging is really cute. It's like pink, really girly. Um, so yeah, really like the packaging and I really like the product itself. So, um, got another fixing gel. Another thing that I've heard awesome reviews about since its debut last year is the Rich Moisture Mask and it's, um, their deep conditioner. It's a ultra nourishing conditioning treatment. So I got two of those and they are eight ounces and actually, um, what intrigued me about this product, um, besides the fact that I absolutely adore deep conditioners, is that this, someone compared this to the Curl Junkie Curls Rehab. <gasps> you guys know I love that product. It's one of my favorite deep conditioners, leave-in moisturizers. Just, it's in the top ten. It's in the top ten. So, of course, I was intrigued by this to have somebody compare that to my beloved. So, I'm excited to see how my hair likes their, um... Rich Moisture Mask. And it smells really good, too. I opened one of them. Um, it's a really loose consistency deep conditioner, but I find that my hair actually responds better to looser, not watery, but looser, more, um, I don't know what this means. I don't know what that water sign means. But, um, just easier to, um, distribute through your hair conditioners. My hair seems to respond much better than to super duper thick, tacky conditioners, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, but suffice to say, it's a little bit heavier than the VO5 conditioners that I love. And I know it might seem like, ooh, deep conditioner, that loose. But I actually think it's going to be really, really um, good to distribute through my hair. And just feeling it through my hands, I like applied a little bit and just like rubbed it on my hand right here. The consistency, I think, is going to be really nice and concentrated. I'm not going to need a ton. So um, we'll see what my hair thinks when I use it. Um, also... One, oh, almost forgot, last thing, the avocado conditioner from She Scented as well. Um, this is one of their most popular conditioners. Um, this also has avocado oil and panthenol for dry sun bleached hair. And since it's the summertime, perfect time to see what my hair thinks. Um, my hair didn't love the original formula of this. It was soft and it detangled pretty good but it definitely didn't make HD status or anything like that so I'm excited to see how my hair responds to it in this slightly altered formulation they changed the ingredients up a little bit so I want to see what my hair thinks about it now and plus it was 16 ounces for I think 10 or 9 bucks so always a great deal they always have really wonderful sales um, as she sent it so next is um, a product line that was not even ever on my radar until I heard about it from one of my subscribers. She actually asked me if I had ever tried any, um, a specific product actually, the pre-poo from, I'm going to totally butcher this, Yanobi Shop, Wynobi, um, hope I don't totally go off base with that but um you know be shop I'll put a link down below as well but she asked me to try their pre-poo treatment as a leave-in she said it's like amazing great detangling and so my interest was definitely peaked when I heard great de uh, great detangling so I went on their website to check out their stuff and specifically the pre-poo treatment that she had mentioned to me and I ended up liking the ingredients of almost everything that she had so she had a sale so I totally jumped on it um, and everything that I got was on um, some type of sale, so that's kind of what spurned this haul. But um, I got the pre-poo treatment in the 16 ounce, I believe it's the 16 ounces. Um, really nice, simple packaging. It's kind of like a cardboard labeling. I like it. It's really, um, really nice, really simple, but different. Haven't really seen labels like this, and I like it. Um, I think it's going to make a really nice leave-in. Very light smell, and I'm also going to try it as a moisturizer so I don't pre-poo so I'm not going to be trying it that way I'm going to incorporate it into my regimen um, based on you know consistency the ingredients and how I plan to use it so got that also the Almla and Netto moisturizing deep conditioner their deep treatment got it in the 16 ounce um, I'm probably even things that I've never tried before I'm planning on getting them in um, the bigger size versus like an 8 ounce size if it's offered because my hair at this point you guys like literally laughs at 8 
ounces. I can get maybe two uses out of something, sometimes just one. So um, I just decided to go ahead and get the 16 ounce. The ingredients are really nice. Um, Amla is supposed to be really good for strengthening the hair as well as promoting shine. And since you guys know that I'm growing out my highlights, I'm all about... Um, making my dark my naturally dark hair as healthy and lustrous and shiny as possible so I can definitely smell the Ayurvedic herbs in this there's something in this that is familiar to me to another product that I have again I don't know what it is I'm gonna have to um I don't know this is so familiar to me I don't know but it um it's a pretty lavender color very light colored product so um yep excited to try that one I also decided to give their green tea and aloe hydrating spritz a go. Um, I do not have tons of luck with moist uh, water-based spritzes like leave-in conditioners and refreshers. But um, I want to see if this one will break the mold and prove to really, really work for me. So I wanted to give it a go because um, I think it's going to be really hot this summer. And I want to give my hair, especially the ends, like a quick spritz of this and maybe seal for butter to really up my moisture and protection game up while um, the temps are rising. So I got this. Um, now I did have two little hiccups with my products. Um, everything was, you know, wonderful. I do have to mention also their shipping is incredibly fast. I ordered my products, I believe, on a Wednesday and they had arrived by the following Tuesday and she's based kind of far from me. So I thought that was a really, really good turnaround for receiving my product. So high, um, high five. What? Thumbs up on the shipping. Whoa. Um, so it does say on the website that if you're ordering like a butter or butter based product that in high temperatures it may melt. So I took a risk and ordered this product anyway. Um, and it's the body and hair whip and I got it in the guava berry fragrance. Guava berry fragrance which smells absolutely amazing. It smells great. So I think it comes in like a four ounce. So let me show you guys if I can if it doesn't fall out. But let me see. This lighting is crazy. So, yeah, you guys can see. A majority of the product is missing. Yeah. ton of product is missing. It also says on the website, I believe, that she measures by volume, not weight. So, even though it appears to be that a lot of product is missing, it's actually the four ounces. And looking at this, you guys see, right? Like, come on. It's like, um... 70% missing, 70% of the product missing, and I can't say that that by volume is 4 ounces, I just, I don't know. Um, when I took it out of the, and everything comes individually wrapped in plastic, which is nice, but when I took it out, um, I already noticed there was some oil seeping out right here, so I am not going to really give that a negative, because it does say on the website, you know, if you're ordering when it's hot outside, that is a risk, so... If I like this product, and I'm going to try it probably next wash just to use it up and see what I think about it because there's so little in here. I want to just kind of like use it and see what I think about it. But if it does turn out that I like the other products that I got from the company, I would repurchase this again in Black Friday, you know, November-ish um, when the product is not going to be susceptible to those high temperatures to give it another go and see what I think about it. So I think it's going to work well for me. I would have loved if I had you know product to the top but um I do not but I'm not gonna fault the company for that because I did see up there that you know it warned about the hot temps and shipping products which is why I mentioned that I don't get products normally when the temps start to rise but I just couldn't resist but I'll definitely try this again um if I reorder from this company I will definitely try this again with my next order to see how it performs for me um in colder temps and how it looks and all that stuff. So the second hiccup is, um, and I left it in the bag for you guys because I um, wanted to show you, but I ordered their uh, leave-in conditioner as well. And as you can see, we've got a little spillage. We've got a little accident right here. Um, the top was open and a little bit of product um, had come out. So it's still majority full. I can see um, it's as you can see right here. It's only about this much that came out. It's still a big majority of the product is in here. So um, I think that if it was taped, if all the products with lids were taped as well as in this, that would be awesome. That'd be great. So again, gonna try this and see what I think of it. But yep, those are the only two kind of 
not so fabulous things about ordering um, and last but not least I also purchased the silky shea cream to those and it's like a yellow shea butter yellow shea butter with some oils in it I think it's gonna make it a wonderful sealer because it's whipped so great so great there's a little air pocket right there but I'm sure um this one's pretty much full pretty much full um so let me see really whipped can't wait I love nice whipped silky shea butter um, um blends for sealing my hair and also for twisting my hair they do pretty well so I'm um, not wasting that so I'm just gonna add a little bit of excess right there and and then it says peppermint oil in it. I definitely hit smell that peppermint oil. Mm. So then that'll um be really nice for the summer as well. And I don't oil my scalp or grease my scalp really, but I think it'll feel stop. So um yeah, that's everything that I purchased, you guys. And I got a nice little bonus thing to show you as well. I think this is everything. Yeah. Um, as you saw in my spring hello spring haul, I ordered some goodies from Sultanicals. And my girl Mercedes Virgo, hey girl, um, she told me that Sultanicals had this really cool thing where if your order took more than 10 days, was it more than 10 days? Yeah, if your order took more than 10 days to ship to you, to email them and they were sending out complimentary gifts to those customers whose orders took that long. So I emailed them, the owner was really, really nice and she said that she'd be shipping out a little complimentary gift. So. This is what I got. It came in this cute little thing. And it comes with nice little sample sizes of a couple of the products. Um, the, and I don't have this one, so I'm excited to see what it does. And what it is, it's the Hair Sorel Nap uh, Kink Napalicious Kink Drink. Um, this kind of looks like a little oil blend with a spray top. So, I'm going to read on the website exactly what it is so I can use it um, accordingly. I also got a sample of the Curl Craze Hair Glaze. Yet again, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to check it out. All I do know is that it smells so good. It smells like um, Lemonhead Candy, which is one of my favorite candies. I cannot find it anywhere anymore. But um, Lemonhead Candies, it smells exactly like that. That's lemony, sweet, just mm, can't wait to try it. And last but not least, I think I do, yes, I do have this, the Kinky Silk Tress Milk, which I think is like a hair milk. So that was really nice of them. And also include came with a, uh, let me find it, really nice touch. Please accept our apology. Came with that, so in a handwritten note about it, so that's really nice. I thought it was a really nice touch, so I want to include that in my haul as well. So that's everything, you guys. Literally, the next haul you see from me will be Black Friday. Yeah, I'm speaking into existence. We'll see if it happens, but yeah, I gotta use some stuff up, you guys. I'm hoping to beef up my use of the stash videos and um, make some room, make some room. Um, my hair feels amazing. Um, I don't know if I have mentioned in my past few videos, but my hair has been feeling horrible, like gonna need to chop off a few inches horrible. It was just nothing was connecting or working, but um, it feels great. It just feels so good. I tried a new deep conditioner. I um, used a gel that I had bad luck with with wash and goes this time, and it worked fabulously. I used a tried and true leave-in. And I am um, seal up my hair with um, a shea butter cream. So I'm going to be doing a review on the um, gel. I'm just going to let you know. It's the uh, Coils by Nature Peppermint Gel that I have. And this is a twist out. done. And this is a first aid twist out. And it's just so soft and so shiny. And feels so much healthier and hydrated than it's been feeling the past few weeks. So love it. Um... My short side, my short side, and my long side, um, and I am going to be doing a first impression of the deep conditioner that I used, which is the Brown Butter Beauty Babasu Butter Love uh, Deep Conditioner. Whoo, that was a mouthful. So, um, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, my last haul until Black Friday. Yet again, speaking it into existence. So, hope everybody's doing wonderful, and I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye. 
I cannot find the stop button yet again. Okay, bye guys.